Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's your boy Cutty Slim. Your boy Cutty Slim. And I'm back like I left some. And uh, you see my last video I made uh, was about Leo. Leo Cone. Uh, I was talking about is he a coach of Vulture or is he not? I think he's a coach of Vulture. Dane Dash told us a long time ago. And it makes sense now. Based off the Breakfast Club interview yesterday. I caught this shit live and direct, and I made a case about it. So, I wasn't done about that video I made yesterday because there was some other parts and points of the video, of the interview that was said and made that, 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 that didn't rub right. And one was when he, uh, they brought up Dame Dash. When they brought up Dame Dash, he was like, who was that? I don't know him. For real, I don't know him. Bullshit, motherfucker. You know who the fuck Dame Dash is, man. Y'all got 90,000 pictures and shit with y'all hugging up, drinking Chris Style and shit and all this shit back in the 90s when Rockefeller was popping. Stop all that line. We owe Dame Dash money. That's why you acting funny like that. Another thing. Breakfast Club. Why y'all took, why y'all gave it to him easy, man? Y'all grill everybody to come on y'all show with that bullshit. Y'all didn't ask the right questions. Y'all was beating around the bush with this man. Scared to ask this man. This dude took over the ship. Just, he took over the whole show, just like Takashi 69. Charlamagne the God, you didn't ask him no hard questions like you would ask anybody else. Why you didn't do him like you did Monique? Coach of Coach and Ass. See, Breakfast Club, shout out to Breakfast Club. I still watch them and listen to them every now and then when they got somebody I want to look at. But they're not like they used to be, man. They started to get soft on us, man. They used to grill people that come on their show, man. It's the grill people every time they come on their show. Now they let people get by with everything now. There's not one question that they asked Leo that really meant something. They let him do all the question asking. Subscribe to my channel, by the way. Your boy, Cutty Slim. It's Cutty Case in the Kickback Podcast Show. But like I was saying, man, these motherfuckers, they... They known for grilling people to come on the show, man. It's like they pick and choose who they want to roast on there and make it look bad. There's no way in hell when they brought up Dame Dash and when they brought him up, the first thing he says, I don't know who that is. Bullshit. Charlamagne and somebody should have got on this case right then. They sit there and be t they want to laugh with him like that shit was funny. That shit ain't funny, man. That's why Dame Dash went right back at his ass as soon as he seen the interview. Breakfast Club, y'all are starting to get weak, man. Y'all are starting to get weak. Let this man come on the show and do all this shit. So the question really is, Charlemagne, DJ Envy, Angela Yee. Charlemagne, DJ Envy, Angela Yee. Did y'all see any culture vulture in this guy yesterday? Tell me. I know you did. There's no way you didn't see the culture vulture in this shit. And that's, that's why hip-hop is falling down, man. They letting anybody in hip hop now, even though Leo been in hip hop for thirty years. But they letting anybody in hip hop now, man. With the shit so watered down, man, we don't get that pure shit no more. That's why everything you hear on the radio sound the same. Nobody has originality because the people who run the shit on top of the industry, they release this bullshit right here. Stop letting the motherfuckers in the uh, industry, man. That's you know culture vulture and shit. Don't even know about the fucking lifestyle. They just seen it on TV or heard it on the radio and they mimic our lifestyle and put it on paper and shit and on video. And next thing you know, they the most popping artists in the fucking world, like like Takashi 69. I never heard a demo, underground mixtape, but nothing from this guy. I still haven't heard any music from this guy. But somehow he's the most popping thing in the fucking industry for trolling. We're gonna start trolling these motherfuckers back. Start going to their motherfucking backyard, taking what they do. And get paid off that shit. Like that's what they doing with us. So back to culture vulture. The name of this topic is part two to my other uh, video. Is Leo Cohen really a culture vulture? And why the Breakfast Club? Why they didn't ask him no hard questions? Why would they light on this guy? So subscribe to my channel, comment, like, share with your friends and family, and let me tell me what you think about Leo Cohen. Is he a culture vulture? Or is he not? If you don't know, go watch the Breakfast Club interview and you'll see what's going on. It's your boy Cutty Slim signing out. Cutty Case and the Kickback Podcast Show driving the Cutty Case and Kickback Conversations. I'm out like a fat kid in Dodgeball.
Holla at y'all.